Well, Alan, the protest here this morning has come about as a result uh, of a long battle over this church. Correct. And demolition was threatened last week. Just tell us what happened. Well, um, we learnt by a roundabout way that Dones, the demolition people, were moving in uh, on Monday next. And uh, so we got up uh, a protest. We also managed to get an injunction to stop them any uh, attempt to demolish it for at least another week. Now, Deemster Kane gave you that at the last minute yesterday and the contractors were moved out. But I gather ladies were actually sitting on the pews inside to prevent uh, demolition. That is correct. And uh, I wholeheartedly support that. Is that as a result of uh, huge structural defects that have suddenly come to light in the last week? Why did they want to de demolish just recently? No, it isn't, because I understand that two years ago a firm called Greys did a report and uh, I gather from a colleague that that report was such that, broadly speaking, it was OK. Any repairs necessary have been greatly exaggerated. Our own engineer, we have an engineer in the French St. Jude, it's greatly exaggerated and we have enough money pledged or actually cash in hand, well over 100,000. Uh, builders are willing to do the work on a materials only basis, electricians are, and uh, we are prepared to repair the church and run it ourselves as a community centre holding religious services there from time to time. Now this of course is the rub with the bishop because you've offered to buy it for a nominal fee of a pound and as you say restore it and use it. Why do you think the church, the church authorities have objected to this plan? Because quite frankly and I am going to be frank they know that we or they are afraid that we could do what they've miserably failed to do which is to get the people to come here at the moment they hold a service, or they did do, once a fortnight at half past eight in the morning for half an hour. Now we live adjacent and I am certainly not getting up at that time in the morning to come along where there's no organ, no singing, and uh, how can they expect people to come uh, when the attitude seems to be it's for the convenience of the parson that the church is run rather than for the convenience of the congregation. So what makes you, you think that you could fill this church with parishioners where the official church can't? I'm sure we could because we would have more of a rapport. You can see the, the level of rapport here and uh, we wouldn't be, shall we say, so stiff and starchy approach as the Church of England do. The extraordinary thing that we've heard from Alan Chapman is that there is the money available to do this church up, but it's possibly your colleague on the Legislative Council, the Bishop, who doesn't want the parishioners mm. to take this over themselves. I mean, what's your feeling about that? Well, there's no doubt the uh, money is available, and um, that's why we offered the uh, token payment of £1 for the, for the church. We acknowledge that the uh, churchyard uh, is still going to be part of Andrew's church's uh, charge anyway. But uh, we have uh, pledges of uh, well over 120, 140,000 uh, by way of cash and um, expertise of one sort or another. Um, it's interesting to note that yesterday after I did a radio, uh, radio interview, I had quite a lot of calls yesterday, later on the day, offering help of any sort, mm. which indicates again uh, that the interest and, and the, the goodwill is all there. Have you spoken to the Bishop about this? So you must have chatted um, to him in the members room. Yes, well, I have spoken to the Bishop. Uh, I mean, we are normally on, on, uh, on good terms, but on this particular one we are at odds, that's for sure. Uh, the bishop would say that uh, it's his church and he can do what he likes with it. I would say that the people of St. Jude's don't wish anything, any harm to the place and are quite willing to undertake the job on which the CFE are reluctant to do. But he would lose control? Uh, yes, I, I, in fact again I think on, on uh, perhaps with uh, conference and advice there could be a middle road somewhere but certainly at this moment, we have the money, we have the uh, energy, the initiative. We just want to get hands in the door key. <laughs> Thank you for talking to us. Okay. Thanks, George.